What's up, divas? What's up, divas? What's up, everybody? What's up? What's up? Let me get some of this sunshine in here. You guys, I'm trying to get all the sunlight I can. So this is video number two of the day. Yes, I got three videos to go. That means, I mean, excuse me, I got three videos to do, which means I got one more after this. And I'm hoping that this be easy. This is easy from Love Me Hair. Y'all know I work with them prior. I've worked with them many times. And you know, for a few, quite a few years. So I see the the change. I see, I guess that's what every big company, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you definitely got to improve, but you're going to keep staying the same. That's like with myself. So that's why I said I'm bringing checker back. Okay, girl, yes. I know this raceway, race car, checkered board look is not in no more, but girl, I'm bringing it back, especially if it was like a dollar and some change on Shein. Yeah, mm -hmm, I'm definitely bringing it back. But it's funny today, like most of all of my wigs, the three wigs, not mostly, they all are. All three wigs that I have that I have to review are in this color scheme. Okay, girl, the one that I just did before this that was straight, it was all this like this very like light brown. Then the next one. One. It's got the same brown highlights. Girl, I'm not really sure what it is today, but I like a good easy wig that I got to curl. So I did bleach the knots. Now, let me, let me just tell y'all about that. They had some speckling going on up in the, the scalpage here. And it wasn't too bad. It was like the color of this speckling, but you know, I'm a perfectionist that I am. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Hold on. So the perfectionist that I am, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to make it look as natural as possible. Like, I know everybody is wearing a wig today from your grandmother, your auntie, your cousin, your sister, your bestie, your, you know what I'm saying, your godmother, your school teacher, the grocery store cashier lady, the lotto lady, the fucking bean pie lady. Everybody's wearing a wig, okay? Everybody's wearing a wig. But sometimes you can tell when somebody's got on a wig. Like, I didn't say everybody was wearing a good wig. I said everybody be wearing a wig, okay? And you could sometimes definitely tell. So I don't really be wanting you to be able to tell. I don't really care if you think that it's a wig, but if you know that it's a wig, you think it's a wig, I want you to definitely be like, girl, you can think it to yourself. You can say it to your friend, whoever you with, your coworker, your bestie, your mama, your boyfriend, your husband, your, your kid, whoever you with at the time. I just want you to be like, um, that's probably a wig. I like the word probably because that means you ain't really too sure or, you know what I'm saying, if that's the wig, that's the damn good looking wig. Like that's, that ish look like it's real. Like that, that's what I be going for. I don't really care if you know if it's a wig or not. Okay. But I want to kind of have you fooled a little bit, like fooled. Okay. So with that being said, we just want to jump right into this. And, you know, let me just say this first. I didn't really pluck too much, tweeze too much, because I was trying to go for that all natural hairline. Like, not really natural, but, girl, listen, I was just lazy, but, you know, let's just, just do it. Feels like the first time, throw away all my pride, don't want to say I love you first, but holding it in just might make me burst, loving the guys so let's start off with this tutorial it does come with some hd lace also it has a removable black elastic adjustable band well it's not removable but it is sewn in excuse me but it is adjustable now first you want to make sure your hairline is clean prior to installing any unit Now, the very next step would be to cut the lace off of the unit if you're comfortable with that. And 
And then I'm gonna use my favorite hairspray, which is the Aussie Instant Freeze. And this is going to be the first layer of hairspray that I use. You wanna make sure that the hairspray or any type of product you're using like glue or gel does become tacky prior to spraying on the next layer. So make sure that the first barrier is tacky prior to putting on the second barrier of product that you're going to be using to adhere your unit. I love the Aussie Insta Freeze because it does hold the unit. You can use this for a couple of days where, but you wanna make sure that it gets tacky. And all I'm gonna do is just press into this with my rat tail comb. Now, first of all, these are some really deep, juicy curls. This hair is very curly. And I like to make sure that my curls are defined. I like to make sure that they look as natural as possible. So when you get a curly unit, my suggestion would be for everyone is to wash it, to co-wash it prior to wearing it. And I say this because for one, the curls will really be defined once you use like a really good conditioner. And it doesn't really have to be like a really good conditioner, but just a conditioner. You can get it from the dollar store. I don't care. But a nice rat, excuse me, a nice comb or brush. I prefer using like a nice detangler brush to brush through my curls. So when I do wash my curls, I do brush through with a detangler brush um, while the conditioner is in it. That way it saturates the hair fully. And one important thing is to me is to allow it to dry, air dry. Air drying it on a mannequin head is really beneficial to some like really good juicy curls. If you don't have a mannequin head, I would also suggest hanging the wig upside down. So when I say upside down, meaning try to hang it from the elastic band so that way the water is, you know, dripping out downward and the curls will become a lot more defined and juicy if you can kind of like allow the wig to hang upside down, not per se on a mannequin. Like if you put your wig on a mannequin, I would definitely say if you have it like on a stand to tilt the mannequin backwards so that way the hair can drip dry and the curls would be juicier. I like to use certain products, a good conditioner, even a good leave-in conditioner is good for defining your curls. But the most important thing when you want to define those curls and get them looking like this is to co-wash the unit and get yourself a nice detangler brush. That will definitely help when your curls are defined. The brush and the co-washing is the most important part to defining those curls. You don't need product like mousse and such and things of that nature, just a good detangling brush and some conditioner will define your curls and you definitely want to do that while the hair is wet by brushing through now i try not to disturb the curls so much i love these curls like i said they're very big and juicy they're not tightly curled but they do have a nice deep curl pattern to them if you want to use a product i would say get like a curl defining mousse or a curl defining like spray you know, a leave-in conditioner, but I just use regular conditioner from the Dollar Tree and I make sure that I brush it with a nice wide tooth brush or wide tooth comb, but I really would suggest getting like a really good detangler brush to do your curls. That's what always makes the difference. I've noticed this throughout the years. If you get a nice detangler brush, it will give you the perfect defined curls. If you use a comb, it's probably not gonna come out that great. So I, I would highly suggest getting like a really good detangler brush. And your curls will definitely come out like this. This is a very full and plentiful juicy curl a lace front and I'm feeling it. Like it looks really nice, the color came out nice as well. I did the best that I could and I think I did a damn good job because I really didn't pluck too much of it. So I just tried, you know, I was, I was being lazy. Like I said, I was being lazy, but I think it still looks good. Like it looks really good. You know what I'm saying? I just put the hairs, they're not baby hairs. They're just, look, girl, these are wispy hairs. So you see they move, they're not pasted down. I like them when they're like that. They're just very minimal. I don't really like too much of the sticky bangs, gel down look, but I do like this unit. I was really trying not to disturb the curl pattern. I hate to have to sit here and spray like a bottle of this on it and then put like gulping scopes of styling foam in it just to get 
the hair tank. So I was really trying not to disturb the curl pattern. And so far I didn't, I like the way it curls. Like it curls really, really well. Once you wash it, like girl, you gotta wash it. When it comes to you curly, you gotta wash it. You gotta define your own curls. I just, you know, cold wash it. But because I bleach it, I do need to use like the purple shampoo to get any brassy tones out. So I do allow that to sit on the lace part for like a few hours and I rinse it out. Then I cold wash it. I use my good tamer brush. Girl, I let it air dry. So I think like these are like some really good juicy curls. I can't stand when people get a wig that's curly and they don't wash it. Like you have to wash the curly ones. You just gotta wash the curly ones. The color came out really nice. If you want it a little bit more toned, like some people do, you can definitely put purple shampoo to it. But I think Love Me Hair did a damn good job on this. It's very full and bountiful, girl. It fits nicely. You know what I'm saying? The lace is very, like it's a melt. It definitely can be a melt. You know, if you're ready for some short summertime hair, summer loving, you know, racetrack checkerboard look, then girl, you got this. You definitely got this. So, you know what I'm saying? It kind of filled out my round long head. Like my face is filling out because I've definitely gain some weight as you guys can tell but girl listen I guess that means that I'm happy I'm comfortable with myself which is always a plus and I will definitely get back on my weight loss journey but for now I'm just going to you know continue to try my best stay healthy eat healthy and maybe sooner or later the pounds will come off but it definitely fills out my rounded face I hope so, you enjoyed this yeah. video stay tuned make sure you rate comment subscribe thumbs the video up share it you know like you know share it check out love me here they got plenty of videos and girl like I said I done did uh, quite a few videos with them and it's really cool to see like something like this transform like you know how you have those bad days and you don't really know or you're unsure of yourself like I don't know about y'all but I have enough of them where I'm like, oh my gosh, I hate my weight. I hate my my hair, sure. I just like hate everything. Like not everything, but enough. And then once you transform yourself, you put a little makeup on, you put a little bit of hair on and the outfit, you feel totally great about yourself. But that's how I feel right now. Like, you know, everybody has their days, but girl, listen, if you got some accessories and a little bit of whatever razzle dazzle, you'll be just fine. So check out Love Me here in the information box, description box below. Let me know what y'all think about this unit. I love y'all. Stay diva, diva, delicious. Be safe, stay out the way, you know, like mind your business, stay out of business, stuff like that. And I'll see y'all in the next one.